go. D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'll be using this kind of cherry cola set of dice that was given to me by a viewer at my recent meet and greet. Thank you. First up, let's roll for bread. Five, sourdough. All right. Two. Not everyone here has a baby palate. Dude, you put raw broccoli in your sandwiches and are like, yeah, this is fire? Okay. Large pieces of sourdough with a light toast. Let's go. Next up, let's roll for I would rather have a. I would rather use nothing but ketchup for the rest of my life than have that palate. Eight, brisket. Got some pulled beef brisket that was made at my local deli. Got it warmed up here and it smells amazing. The fact that they sell already prepared beef brisket just down the street from me is a new discovery to me. And I got the brisket recently and it was really, really bad. Like, I don't know what, it, what this place did to it, but it was but gross and it kind of ruined it for me. More often. All right, next up, let's roll for some cheese. Five, Borson. Listen, you can make fun of me all you want. I struggle with the French language. I really never know just how it's gonna come out until after I've already said it. And I can only re-record these voiceovers so many times. Anyway, this is a soft cow's milk cheese with shallot and chive that is delicious. I feel like I should try it again. It it's been many years since I've had that. Brisket. Next up, let's roll for roughage. Three green onion and 10 carrot. That's funny, the last time I rolled this cheese, I got red onion. This time we're pairing green onion or grunions, as they say on Roll for Sushi, with our shallot and chive cheese. I'm all for it, Runyon. though. It sounds delicious. I decided to shred my carrots today. Felt like that would provide the best texture here and end up kind of more like a slaw. You know what? Carrots I'm in it. Nice uh, you know what? The, the shredded, sugars, I'm in. So I'm in. It actually doesn't seem that bad. Here. All right. Let's hit it with a little wild magic. Eight dill. I thought about making a Beavis and Butthead joke, but a lot of people watch this show with their kids, so I'll let you fill it in yourself. Anyway, this dill should pair great with the cheese. Last but not least is the D20 Family sauce. Family friendly. Feels strong, man. 19, Dusseldorf mustard. Dusseldorf mustard is like a slightly more pungent version of Dijon mustard. As to why it's in this 3.5 ounce hand-labeled shampoo bottle, it's so I could bring it through TSA. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. You know, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense for when he does traveling and stuff for this. I can respect it, but imagine explaining to the TSA guy why you have a miniature shampoo bottle full of mustard. The guy's like, bro, you can't, you bring in your own mustard? Like, what's, what's going on, man? Like, uh, what are you doing? Like, it, what, dude, what happens if you bring, like, a bunch? Like, you got, like, a little thing of Parmesan cheese, a little thing of mustard, a little mayo, you know, yeah, like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, just, like, random shit. let's go ahead and get it cut in half. It's like, bro, what are you doing? Like, you, you're bringing your own condiments for the in-flight look at that cross-section. Food, you know? That looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. You know, Ooh, nothing on this sandwich months. makes me feel incredibly worried. We had a 10 out of 10 on Friday, though. We've never done that twice in a row. Let's taste it and see what we got. You would bring your own mustard on a flight? Ooh, I can respect yeah, that. That is really good. The brisket is flavorful and rich and goes really well with that creamy cheese. It's no surprise that the onion and carrot works. It's like beef stew with the brisket. That mustard brings in that acid to tie it all together. This, this might be a 10. This is really good. Man, I am kind of terrified that this is going to be tempting fate a little too much, but I got to give this one a 10 as well. Damn. And I'm going to call it risk it for the brisket. Starting off the week strong. Let's hope our luck continues. I'll see you on Wednesday. Back to back tens? D&D &D, TikTok and beyond. And welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be using these metal dice with blood splatter or maybe ketchup splatter that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. Ketchup First up, splatter. let's roll for bread. Four, potato bread. Potato bread is a soft bread made with potato flour. I've got some that's nice and fresh, so well, I'm not It's no different it, than white bread, but I, it tastes All so right, different. All right, next, let's roll for our main. Eight, brisket. Brisket again. I'm okay with that. Although on this soft, untoasted Ooh, look at bread, smoke. it may create a little bit good. of a juice problem. All right, a next up, let's roll for problem? our cheese. Four, Swiss cheese. Sounds like a good problem to have. I've got holes. I've got holes in different... Slices of cheese. All right, next up, let's roll our roughage. Five cabbage and six peas. Oh, the cabbage no. I have is jarred sweet and sour red cabbage. It's not fermented like sauerkraut. It pairs pretty well with beef, usually no. corned beef or pastrami, but I will take it with brisket. 
All right, so not the I peas. Wasn't sure how to get peas on a sandwich, really, without them rolling all over the place. So I decided uh. to try to mush them up, which didn't actually work out that well. These fresh peas didn't really want to smush. Yeah. Things are looking okay so far. Let's see how Wild Magic treats us. 15, cayenne pepper. So I guess we're going to uh, kick it up a notch here. Wham, wham, wham. Wow, those are going to be some spicy peas. Least, we've got our D20 sauce roll. Here goes nothing. Eight. HP sauce. HP sauce, or as they call it, brown sauce in the UK, is What's a tangy that? sauce often eaten with breakfast. It has kind of a similar flavor oh, it looks like to an A1. A1 or Heinz 57 steak sauce that we have here in America, but it really is its own thing. Apparently, the dice wanted to celebrate the coronation. Yo, what are Let's you guys doing over there? Here. You're eating A1 steak sauce for breakfast? To together, and, Bro, you guys need uh, help. Normally, I would move this to the cutting board to cut it, but it very soggy. I don't think that's going to work. So let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. Oh, hell no. Well, it's colorful. That's a disaster. Well, I'm sorry to say, I don't think we hit the three peat, three back-to-back -back tens. This is a pile of mush. Let's see how it tastes. I don't think you hit the, I don't think the, you hit the one. It's the combo in the world. And it's definitely failing as far as structural integrity goes. Ah, uh, the, the still mushy delicious, bread. <sighs> just not being helped out a whole lot by the other ingredients here. I think these are two months. It could be a lot worse, though. At the end of the day, that brisket did a lot of work to bring it all the way up to a 5.9. And I'm going to call it the Shambling Mound. As always, I appreciate every single one of you for tuning in to Roll for Sandwich. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you on Friday. Nah, that... That's that's some shit right there. D and D TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by Melinda's Hot Sauce. I like Melinda's Hot Sauce because they prioritize flavor over spice. That being said, they have pretty hot variety. Another as well. sponsor, right now, dude. They this have guy's these killing it. Packs where you can get mini bottles of ten different flavors to try. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Head to Melinda's.com or check the link in my bio okay, to dude. get your own. All right, let's kick it off with our roll for bread. Four, potato bread. Not toasting our potato bread did not work out last time, but maybe it will this time. Let's roll for our main. Three, chicken. I've got some oven roasted deli chicken slices today. They'll be a nice sort of blank canvas for the rest of our sandwich. Next up, let's roll for our cheese. Deli chicken's all right. It's not great though. Six, it's like primo very dry. Very Fantasia. This is a you gotta, you gotta dress it up a bunch. That what has is this? olives pepper and arugula in it. Though we don't know exactly what kind of hot sauce we're gonna get, I'm betting this will pair pretty good with whatever it is. Not looking too bad so far, but things could definitely take a turn. We'll see. I'm not All a big right, olive guy, but that looks pretty good. Double seven, extra pickled jalapenos. All right, well, I was already taking a risk doing a hot sauce special having GERD. Thankfully, these are tamed jalapenos, so they're not gonna be too spicy, though this is more than I would normally use. I'm a huge fan of the flavor of jalapenos, which it is, is a lot. Little part of my curse. All it's right, next up, let's months. roll our wild magic. Nat 20, I get to pick. Ooh. All right, since I don't know what's coming for the oregano sauce roll quite yet, I'm gonna go with oregano to pair with the cheese. All right, for our sauce roll, we have 19 different varieties of Melinda's hot sauce, organized from spiciest to most mild. Wait, let's so the, these are the most spicy, the dots? Oh God. Hope I don't open up a portal to the elemental plane of fire. Here goes the D20 scorpion, sauce scorpion, 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 scorpion. 19, Melinda's green sauce. Man. I've actually used this sauce a couple times on this show already. It's one of their milder sauces, and I'm a big fan of it. Jalapeno, green tomato, cilantro. It's tasty and very appropriate to be adding it to these jalapenos. Man. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. I wanted to see fire. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together, and let's get it booped in half. Boop. And let's take a look at that cross section. You can tell when he's getting Looks taken down a lot me. by TikTok when he starts doing hey, the magic look, cuts. Our soft bread worked out. I definitely got lucky on more than one roll today. Let's see you how it. Tastes. Yeah, this actually looks good. I'd eat this. Oh yeah, I mean it's hard to go wrong here. Like I mentioned earlier, the chicken is just kind of a blank canvas and really lets the sauce and the peppers shine. And that cheese is really interesting. I like it a lot. It's not the most earth shattering sandwich I've ever had, but it's very tasty. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.8 .8, and I'm gonna call it jalapeno business. Well, for hot sauce special, things could have been a lot more painful for me. This was only yeah, part that's pretty one good. though. Have a good day and wish me luck. Wait, there's another part, there's a part two.
Is this part two? TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich. I mean, this is another one later. Where I let fate decide my life. I think it's this one. Let's though. go. Today I've got another mystery set of dice sent in by a viewer. Let's see what we end up with. Well, it looks like the uh, blue swirl, which is the same set we got last time. Thanks. Damn. Let's get started with our roll for bread. It's tough. Six sourdough. Two big pieces of sourdough like toasted. Sourdough. Hopefully it's a good Sourdough's sandwich because it's going to be a big one no matter what. All right, next up, let's roll for main. 11, roll 2d12. All right, rolling for our two mains. That's six salami and seven corned beef. All right, well, we ended up with two different cured corned meats beef. today. Dude, I haven't had corned beef in like years. Do I like corned beef? Corned beef, or in some places called salt beef, is I like corned beef. Is salt cured, while salami is air cured or air dried. Let's roll for that cheese. Two provolone. Provolone is a solid choice here. That slightly provolone smoky fire. flavor should pair nicely. All right, let's roll for our roughage. Five cabbage and ten pickled turnips. Starting to sense a color theme here. Various shades of pinks and purples. Flavor-wise, the cabbage is pretty much a bullseye. People eat cabbage and corned beef together all the time. Pickled turnips will be a fine addition here, too. Oh, you guys said cabbage, so you got cabbage, vinegar, right? Go Pickled with cabbage. Of the salami. And it'll add some nice texture and crunch that we've been missing so far. All right, next up, let's hit it with Wild Magic. You think the sandwich is too basic? One. Really? The uh -oh. deck of many things. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. No, Monka. Oh, man, y'all, things were going so well. So far with the deck, we've pulled one good thing and one bad thing, though there are many more bad things than good things. Here we go. No, oh, no. The idiot. The sandwich is unaffected. You must drink 16 ounces of ketchup in a separate video. Third time we've ever pulled from the deck on this show, and I pulled this card. I can't even. Last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. 13, English mustard. All right, I mean, I like mustard. Should be good here. It's pretty intense. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this sandwich. It's, this is a good sandwich. It's just, I know what's coming now, and... You want to watch him drink ugh, the ketchup? Oh, it's gonna no. It's going to be hard to enjoy it. Cross-section is Oh, very no. Pink. My poor guy, well, dude. Very pink. I'm not too worried about the sandwich. I think it's going to taste pretty fine, but let's find out. <laughs> the yeah, sandwich I mean, doesn't seem bad, but here. now At you know I what's coming later. Today. Some mayo or something might have been nice, but overall, I can't complain about the sandwich. Just my dumb life choices. This one's an easy 9.3, and I'm going to call it Death by Pink. So I guess I now have to make a video for you guys drinking ketchup. I'm going to do it on a live on Saturday. Come and support me or watch me suffer. It's up to you. Wish me luck. Oh, no. Chat, let me run to the bathroom real fast. I'll be right back. We'll go. Oh, man. Poor guy. Poor guy.